well. So that's different. I also have it in the proper aspect ratio. Oh yeah, gameplay gameplay's frozen. Oh yeah, I can actually tell. Okay, I, I see what the issue is. Hang on. Let me switch like that. Now it should be good. Yeah, there we go. It actually seems a bit more stable too. There we go. So I can at least stream in 720p, which isn't too bad. I'll just have to make some adjustments on like my whole layout if I want to stream with this laptop. But honestly, it might be in my best interest to just try and get another one for my birthday. Yep, there we go. It's still incredibly laggy though, I can tell. Yeah, there we go. Uh... Well, at least I know what my boundaries are. When it comes to this. Oh, let's see. Exit. Let's reset. Switch them to Daemon XP. Just claim a little bit of Golden Knight X. Uh, I think for one last test, just so I get another good view of this, I am going to go ahead and try this play actually. Let's play. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what I should play. Uh, let's play Evangelion. Why not? This stage. This stage is the uh, Haluji. Not that I really care. That's what this stage is absolutely horrible. <laughs>
I was mashing as fast as I could, even then you still get smashed. No, wait, you have to mash A and down C, I forgot. Also, I can't do long tap. Let's try grabbing for a Oh, nope, I lost. I just need to try to grab it to show you this part. And after that, I think I'm going to do step. Maybe I can do some code to uh, show you one of the more interesting stages. Yeah, you have to mash down. You have to mash A and down C in order to win the struggle, but it's so ridiculously tight. Am I gonna win this? I actually won it. Oh. You have to mash so hard for that. For just that much. That's why it's actually easier to just knife swing. I could actually win this fight. Right, B is block. But if I just try to keep knife swinging, I think I can win this fight. You heard that button mashing though, right? Okay, Kaoru. Thank you. Break up the monotony for once in your life. I am not gonna do that again. So let's just... See, he's in the red. If I just keep this up, <laughs> I can win this and actually move on. I got stuck here and ended up just like doing a practice run on the final stages to try to beat them. Yeah! Okay, I think I actually got this. Yeah! Finally! Ha! <laughs> well, I had to do that once, thankfully. Alright, let's see how long they hold. Okay, they didn't even hold for 10 seconds. I'm disappointed. <laughs> Alright, I actually finished that stage. That one's been, like, eluding me because basically after this stage, it starts following End of Evangelion. And you need to beat that stage on hard to unlock the other stages. So this one's the one where you're playing as the Asuka. And you're, like, destroying everything. And it's actually kind of fun. Over here. Oh, 
Like, this is actually kind of fun. Wrecking stuff. Actually, if I remember correctly, if you make the hell- if you make, like, the helicopters get close to one another... I think there's one behind me. Thankfully, you're mostly invincible for these ones, except for, like, the Sentro. I think it's like, if you can get a helicopter right behind you, and a helicopter in front of you, you can knock it around. Oh, what's up? Oh yeah, the uh, mass-produced Avas. Here they come. I never understood. Why would you make a thing that actually looks like that? Like, this is supposed to be a military weapon, and you make it look like a literal demon. Okay, now this is... Right, no, you you were only able to play up to Mission 2, and then Mission 2.5, you would have to play on hard mode to unlock. Yeah. It's like you give it angel wings, you give it a creepy face. I want to grab that sword. You can hold like. Ow. Bad touch. Bad touch. Ow. Okay, come on. <laughs> exactly. I I watched the movie. I watched like up to episode twenty four and then I watched some of the anime. Like, up to episode 24, then I watched this movie on, like, a garbage MP3 player. And it was kind of hilarious. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be finishing this battle. Nope, backstep! Okay, Asuka. You have a sliver of health left. Backstep. And then, grab! I gotta take out the rest of them, too. I don't think I have enough time. Ah, oh, yes, bear hug. Oh, wow, thanks, game. I mean, at least this is much easier now. If even that, let's be honest, Evangelion is never going to make sense. Now the interesting part is the final battle in this game, which I will definitely be showing once I beat this. Let's hope I can finish it before my timer runs out. Okay, I think I got it. Nope! Okay. I'm good. Come on, grab him. Yeah, there we go. I actually did it. That was pretty close.
<laughs> I have four seconds left. Okay, let's see. I want to watch this cutscene because I don't remember how it is. Also, that's just how the game looks. And then they all come back to life. And then they literally jump on her and impale her and all that stuff. If it did, I would have been actually kind of upset, but probably was still rigged like 2.5. So basically, you were able to go up to mission 12 on every difficulty, but in order to unlock 2.5, you need to beat it on normal, and in order to unlock 13, you need to beat it on hard. Does a little reach up to the sky, and then they just, and then they just cut to her being dead. <laughs> yes, Asuka's dead. And there's the boy, my sweet baby boy. Not really, but you know, the sweet baby boy. Now this is where it gets interesting. We're not just gonna ignore this and then have like a sweet moment with a fake Kaoru. We're gonna fight these bad boys. It's actually pretty epic. Even if it doesn't really work for Evangelion, I really like this battle. Except for the fact they do a lot of damage. I mean, pretty much. And I instantly lose. <laughs> wow, that was actually a lot harder. I'm gonna beat this though, because the ending's even changed. I love how he's just like, instead of like, depressed, he just swears. Okay, okay, so literally the only controls are attack and move. Seems like the forward thrust is like the only movie that move that works. Like all things considering, this game is like actually pretty cool. It's like this game is actually kind of cool, but it's also kind of like not good. It's very well made. It's just not a fun game to play. So though, imagine that the end of Evangelion, instead of like Shinji giving up immediately, he's just like, let's just destroy these guys, man, I'm dead again. <laughs> yes, Shinji. I agree. The ending's really interesting though, so it's worth sticking around till the end, in my opinion. Okay, how do I... I guess I just gotta, like, wait until he swings, and then swing myself, because that first swing is just way too laggy for me to actually use it. So let's back off. There we go. Okay, I'm learning how to do it. It's like punch out, except 50 times worse. I mean, you're not wrong. Oh, thanks for missing. Oh, come on. Okay, attack me again. Attack me again. Come on. Come on. Dash dance. Oh. Three hits and you're dead. I hate this. Honestly, the planet just exploded and that was it. At least it would have ended. Yeah, pretty much. Watching the show was like an exercise in how is this good? It's like I actually enjoyed the show and it was just a normal robot fight show. Okay, do it again. 
Okay. Am I just supposed to hit the attack button? Okay, finally, wow. Uh, probably better than they reacted to the ending of the original show, let's be completely honest. Too close. Oscar. Kimochi Everybody. That's it. Okay, just die already. Why is it suddenly taking three hits to kill each and every one of these? I don't get this game's logic. I think I need to be like close enough to do the execution. Yeah, I need to be really close to do it, so. I love it because every single one he Shinji just does the exact same scream. Or not. I have no idea how this game works. But at least I'm doing this. Can I actually do it? Die. At least there's no power cable power I have to worry about. So I can take my time with this stage. Music's pretty unfitting though. <laughs> Okay, only two more. And then we'll get to see the ending credits, so now I've actually beaten this game. There's like a simulation mode where you like just shoot a bunch of angels. Angel cardboard cutouts. Let's see if I can get an execution on this guy. Final one. Alright, buddy. No, okay. Try again. No. Okay. Alright, we did it. Game's over. And I get to see it. Insane Shinji in the bottom. And the ending. There is none. <laughs> Game over. I actually, I actually really like how it just ends, but it's not over because, actually, I think I can. I think I could maybe skip the credits. I'm kind of worried to try, because <laughs> I don't want to replay that. Yeah, you can't skip the credits, so. But after the credits, there's actually a pretty cool usage of, like, all the portraits and stuff they have. And yes, that is how it ended. My world is ending. Pan flute version of... What is it? Kom Sosotob? I don't know. I don't know, German. Well, the guilt is all mine. Can't live without the trust of no one else. I don't even think Fly Me to the Moon is in this game. I mean, it's ending with this song because it's the end of Evangelion.
together. It's all returns to nothing. It all comes tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling down. It all returns to nothing. At least we won't have to worry about DMCA. Down, let me down, let me down. <laughs> I mean, basically. I didn't pay for this game either. Not, this is on my EverDrive. This game's like a hundred bucks on eBay nowadays. It's really rare. It's not worth it. Everything that matters to me matters in this world. I can turn like fun. Everything else is all right. I still like how the ending final battle actually changes things up from the original. It's actually a lot more interesting because Shinji actually takes up the blade and fights for once. Anyway, this is the cool part. It has its own uh, third impact scene. In reality, though, it's literally just a cycle through every single sprite they made for the game. <laughs> and, like, every single audio clip. I know. I love how I love how Asuka's voice clips are so much higher quality than everybody else's. And then the final scene, you know, the legendary one. I'm surprised they actually allowed that. I love how it just like. Oh, hey, Rintan! Ohio! Oh, so is she missing an arm? Like, I never actually got that. And this is completely different. Might as well be. Karaoke stream? Sure. Kimochi Warui. Option, action, simulation, mission. I guess they added some extra stuff. Game over. We did it. I actually beat this game, like, legit. I'm surprised. I wasn't expecting it to beat it on stream. Okay, so hard mode. What's action? Oh yeah, I remember. So basically the action menu is like seeing all the 3D animations happen. It's kind of weird. Also, one thing I do like about this game, the erase save data option is called third impact. That's like actually pretty hilarious. And then it starts doing a side and you select it. Model, get to view all the models. Which, honestly, these are really high quality models for an N64 game. Like, Anyway. Oh yes, this is that Ava suit. And then like, get the sound test. <laughs> 
Sure, karaoke stream. Ari kaze nai wa. I don't remember the lyrics though. But yeah. Uh, I can do simulation mode, then I'm gonna wrap up the stream. The test stream. So, uh. Test program. Oh, okay. So now I can play through all the regular stages in the simulation, so I can just play every single stage now. That's fun. Uh, let's do the test program, however. So this one's a little bit more interesting. It also has an absolutely horrible chainsaw. Wait, you now know how it ends? Believe it or not, it doesn't end that way. I'll well, place Toji because he literally got nothing. So this mode's... This mode's kind of hilarious because you can play as all the, like, all the childs. And it's basically just the... Third person shooter mode. To fight, like, whatever angle you're fighting in the gallery. Shooting gallery. This is an ending I can understand. Kill me both. Yeah, target the angel and then shoot him. There we go. Angel death. And then we get another one. <laughs> Did you ever actually watch the Angelion? I don't know. This is basically just the just the mode you like try to get a high score. Oh, hello. Oh, oh I didn't get seven. Whatever. So yeah, that's basically the simulation mode. It's a shooting gallery. Try to get a high score. <laughs> Ranka. So that was Evangelion. There are a bunch of like different stages based on different moments of the show, but let's be honest, the ending is like the only one we actually care about. Evangelion is pretty fun. Like I wouldn't say it's a good game, but has like a quality that actually makes it kind of fun to play through just once and it's changes to the ending are a lot more interesting than what the actual show represented well what the uh movie end of evangelion represented so i i don't think it's a good game but it's worth a run through just to see how fun how like everything changes and i'm glad i got to beat it i didn't expect to beat the Kaoru stage. That was like the hardest one that I've like last time I tried playing it I actually couldn't get past that section. I was surprised I was able to button mash my way to victory. Well that's the stream so thanks for watching and helping me figure this out so I guess from now on my best bet is to do 720p. Let me move this down. There we go. My best bet is to probably just do 720p uh gameplay and recording for this laptop and 1080p will be when i am out there at my regular computer so yeah at least i figured it out and this actually works so that makes me happy i just need to figure out a way to get it set up properly oh someone else coming through what even is this? This is Neon Genesis Evangelion for the N64. It is a show tie-in game, and it is not very good, but I beat it today, so I'm happy. Anyway, welcome to the stream, even though I'm ending at Kate May Wildy. Uh... Pretty much figured out exactly how I'm gonna have to run streams on this old laptop. And thankfully it looks like it will work, so I won't have many issues going forward. 
but I just need to figure out how to get it to where it's not a hassle to set up. And where I can just like turn it on and be ready to stream. Look like Fantasy Star Universe? Uh, it does kind of look like it. I mean, definitely looks more like Fantasy Star Universe than online. But yeah. Anyway, this is the moment where I stop the stream. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully soon I will have a better setup so I, I can stream normally. So yeah.